Hey everybody, Brian Goulet here with John Lane of Pilot USA. John, you're already famous from a couple of videos. We've yes, gotten, yes. But, uh... <laughs> Thanks to you, Brian. I do have people recognize me on the street as that guy in the video with Brian Goulet. That's so right. I, I appreciate that. Well, now you'll be recognized even more, perhaps. Yes. But uh, John is here visiting us, doing some businessy things. Uh, but uh, he happened to bring a few Machier pens, and so we thought while he's here and while he has some pens, we would just go ahead and talk pens and show them. And so we don't have a specific format, but I thought we could just kind of riff and you could talk. Cause you got some pretty interesting pens here. So um, yeah, if you don't mind, just kind of explaining kind of what you brought cause you have some pretty cool stuff. Well, I brought some things that we had in the 1990s, Brian. This was our first limited edition, the White Tiger of Asia. Wow. And there were 300 pieces made and it retailed for 1200. Hmm. Now the reason I have this is because many, many years ago, when we introduced this, some of us got samples. And this particular sample was assigned to our sales rep in the state of Florida. And one day she was getting in her car to go out and make one of her many calls. And this pen slid out of her case and she ran over it. <laughs> so this is not, the cap was obliterated. <laughs> so this is a cap off of an old Wingbirds. And if you come in here, you can see that I was able to get most of the dent out. Oh, it's so painful. <laughs> <laughs> and when I took this out of my case this morning, Brian was very excited, thinking I was bringing him a gift. <laughs> Wait, you're not? I mean, uh, I thought that, you know, I wouldn't, that's I would I... not leave a damaged pen like this with you. I wouldn't insult you by leaving you <laughs> something like this, Brian. Well, that's very courteous of you, John. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So then that one is like one of the most coveted, I guess. Um, I've seen them. Old. I've seen them on eBay um, for ten thousand dollars. Oh my gosh! There were only three hundred made, and for wow. some reason, we got all three hundred over here. Wow, really? Yeah. And that's not usual because there's Pilot. I mean, there's several kind of distributors, I guess, in the world. There's subsidiaries. There's in Europe, of course, uh, in Asia, Singapore. Um, but we were the first ones because this was our very first limited uh, in '96 because we were still relatively young mm. because Namiki came in 94 to the United States. Gotcha. So brought another limited we had the year after, and this is the Panda. Mm -hmm. And we did 700 of these and we weren't so lucky to be able to keep all of them. Mm. And that retailed for 1450. Wow. And actually we did a program with the San Diego Zoo uh, to save a panda and donated two of these to the zoo. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I didn't know that. And then we have one of our most popular oh, pens. This one. Mm -hmm. Which is called the Nightline. You're just going to be in and out here, yeah, Andy, for yeah, a bit. <laughs> and as long as the artist stuck to the city skyline motif, they could pretty much do whatever they wanted. They could put in more rodden, they could put in more gold dust or less gold dust. And I'm going to thoroughly upset Brian here when I take this off oh, and say see this. this is a oh roller my gosh. ball. What a shame. <laughs> what a shame. <laughs> <laughs> I said it's like putting a, a car bra on a Ferrari. Like, you just don't do that. You don't? No, no. Oh, I thought you did that to keep the bugs off the Ferrari. <laughs> you don't drive it where there are bugs, John. <laughs> All and, right, what else you got? And lastly, we have another Machia piece that was introduced in 94. Um, and this has a dent on the bottom. So therefore it is unsellable. No, no. We hear the phone. There's no need to sell it, John, because I, I know it's a good home already. where it can land. <laughs> and this retailed for 2000 Very simple design. Again, with the artist's signature on the side. So these were brought here to torture Brian today. Yes, <laughs> special treats. See, uh, you know, John, I guess you, you, you're not you know, collecting one of each of these things for yourself, you kind of end up with all the no, broken or damaged or unsellable ones. The damaged ones. or unsellable <laughs> ones, because if I do have ones to sell, the greedy salesman in me says, sell them all. Right, so. because the avid collectors out there yes. want to buy them all. Yes. And we've particularly been shorthanded on these for the last year or so, because Pilot's 100th anniversary is coming, is up. coming up here. So um, I know we've been asked so many times, what's Pilot coming out with? And uh, just so I can officially have it on record here to say, I have no idea. Can you tell me anything of what's going on for Pilot's 100th anniversary? It's really cool. 
How cool, John. It's really cool. This is the answer that I get here. So you've been sworn to secrecy, right? Yes. Of what you do know. We can release details in August. And okay. as we say in the cellular world, you're breaking up, Brian. I can't hear you. So. <laughs> fair enough. Fair so. enough. Well, we're honor their wishes because they're being super, super secretive about what they're doing. Um, but, you know, we'll let you guys know as soon as we hear anything. So straight from the, the source here. Uh, and then you have some other... Very large pens here. Yeah, I've shown you these several times, and actually, but these, they're always good to look these at. These are available. They're at beautiful. Goulet pen. This is the Kirin, which is another word for dragon, and what makes this unique is all the different colors, pigment colors that, that they use in the Maquillet design. And how long do they take to make a pen like this? Because this is some of their more elaborate work. This usually takes four months to make, but because of the mm. anniversary you just brought up, mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. the timeout is now about five and a half months because mm. all of the work is being done on the anniversary offerings. Because they're basically, it's like every Maquillet artist worth their salt is yes. working on yes. their anniversary pens. So we can assume we're going to see some Maquillet stuff for anniversary. I don't know, Brian. I just, I haven't, I haven't really... <laughs> that would be my assumption. Told all the I'm not details. that smart, but well, if I, we're not receiving any Maquillet pens, then... There might be a new G2 rollerball color. Oh, okay. <laughs> well... And we, we'll send it down to the promo product a G2, section. And a we'll G2 put the rollerball Maquillet for we'll the 100-year logo on it. <laughs> wow, that would be special, wouldn't it? And G2 is not available here at Goulet Pen. <laughs> We tried, John. We tried. <laughs> you can get it anywhere else, though. Literally anywhere else. Anyway. So this is our our Harry Potter <laughs> emperor. Unofficially. This is Hedwig. Yes, we would have had to pay a lot of money for that. <laughs> I'm sure you would. But this is all crushed quail eggshells, and the eyes are made out of rotten. That is really cool. And this is one of my favorites. And all three of my daughters wanted one because it was Harry Potter. But when they found out it was $8,400. <laughs> that'll, that'll put a damper that on, took care of that. on a little bit. <laughs> yeah. And then we'll show, did you show this? Yeah, did you show oh, it's, one? It's yeah. just, we got one more and then I'll show the nib too. Because I just always love to look at this This is Murasaki nib. Shikibu, who is an ancient Japanese poet. And again, I like this pen because of all the different colors. And this is one of the few emperors that we do have in stock. Um, I think we've got three of these left. Hmm. How many were made total? Do you know? um, they make the number that we order. Okay. So what we order here in the U.S., what Europe orders, what Singapore orders, and what the domestic market in Japan wants. Mm -hmm. So they, they pretty much made on demand almost. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There's no warehouse facility, and there's no yeah. There's no stockpile of no. these things sitting anywhere. That would be nice, especially <laughs> especially now with the demand. Sure. Up. Sure. And you're, and for those who don't know who you are, because we haven't explained it that much in this video, we do have another video where you explain uh, kind of more of Maquillet in general, and, and uh, we can link to that video here. Um, but uh, you are essentially the guy in charge of asking for how many we should we should have in the U.S. Um, yeah, and we have a uh, we have a team in Jacksonville that that we work together, and and we don't really suggest any designs because they like to do all those on their own. Sure. But, um, we get together and talk more about the, the lower end products that um, that we've got, but it's uh, it's an ongoing process. Yeah, and then you have the two Chinkin um, in the Yukari Royale size. And Chinkin is a process where the design is carved into the barrel. This is Brian's favorite, the cat. I, first time I saw this, I thought it was <laughs> really pretty creepy, cool, creepy looking. Well, you know, it's but an acquired uh, taste, though. It's so realistic, though. And this is all carved into the barrel and then filled in with gold dust and lacquered over. Yeah, well, you you just have to respect the craftsmanship. It's unreal. Because basically, if they if they screw up, that's it's it. It's gone. There's no fixing it. With a Maquillet pen, it can be somewhat layered down. And then repainted, right? But when it's carved into the barrel, yeah. So it's you have no room for error. There's a very steady hand that does this. Whew. Do you know how long it takes them to make the chinkin pen? About the same amount of time as a, really? as a yeah. Oh my gosh. I'm just thinking about what it would be like just sitting there and just like engraving with these tiny little tools for it's months and months and months. Very tedious, but <laughs> to be able to do that, I mean, it talk about an art form. Yeah. Um, and they train for years to be able to do this. Years, yes like decades almost practically. Um, and then I just 
while you're here, I brought out, you know, whenever John comes, we always kind of pull out some old pens, and I'm like, hey, can we bring this one back? How about this one? What about this one from the 90s? Yes. And he's like, he, sure, that'd be great. He does this a lot. <laughs> Indeed. Especially so I got a few of my favorites, too, which are not nearly as high-end and fancy as this, but one of the ones I love the most is the Pilot M90. And John, you were around when this uh, pen was released here. Yes, I was. <laughs> I, I was, and I didn't think it was really going to sell, uh, but we sold a lot of them. But this was in, what, 1994? No, this was mid-2000. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. This was a limited edition, and I don't recall off the top of my head as to how many we did, but we got about 1,400 over here, and they sold out yes. almost instantaneously. Wow. And that was pretty much it, right? Yeah. Like, And we've not done another one since, but... Every, every time I go over, I ask. Yeah. A black mat, and this would be Oof. very nice. Everybody just got real excited when you said that, but mm. it's probably not coming, folks. Don't get too excited. Not yet. <laughs> that would be awesome. And then we got some other good ones here. Of course, I have um, the uh, Moonlight, which is yeah. kind of the follow-up pattern Correct. to the Nightline. So I think this is called the Nightline Moonlight, right. technically speaking. Um, this one, you know, of course has a beautiful pattern to it, um, but this one is more consistent, I guess. Mm -hmm. They didn't have quite as much liberty to make whatever the pattern Not in the patterns, felt. but obviously all the, the rod and pieces are going to be different with every pen. Absolutely. And these, we haven't seen these in, like, I no. think it's been a year and a half almost yeah. since we've seen these because of the shortage that we've had here. Um, and then I got some other random ones too, like I got the old uh, Namiki Custom... Uh, or sorry, the Miki impression. Impressions. Not the custom, it's just the impressions. So this is like a custom 74 size. I have a couple of different uh, colors here. These are celluloid. These are from the 90s, I think, mm -hmm. as well. And these are just, they look phenomenal. The material is just unbelievable. So these are special little treats. I don't deal a lot in vintage pens, but uh, I do have a couple of vintage pilots just because they're phenomenal. The Mikis, technically, I guess these are. And then I got other random ones like the Twilight and the uh, Rod and Galaxy. Uh, and then some uh, some cheapos here, like the Vortex and the Petite one. Right. And Pilot, <laughs> we don't say cheap. We prefer inexpensive. Value. Val good. <laughs> value, value added. added. So I just wanted to kind of share those a little bit. Um, you know, of course, the Vanishing Points, everybody's pretty familiar. Uh, the Twilight was one of my favorites, just because the ombre and the color scheme is pretty phenomenal. I brought then, my Vortex today, which is in the other room, but just to irritate Brian, I brought it with the rollerball refill in it. Which is just like, what's the point? <laughs> um, and then the Petite One, this little thing. So, um, you know, I would love to see this at the U.S. John. I'm just going to put pressure on here, but... Uh, not not exactly in like the fine writing category necessarily. So you wouldn't want to put a hundred year anniversary logo on this? Hey, I would take it at this point, you know, if that's what it takes. But uh, it's a cool little pen. We don't carry it currently, but I'd love to see it someday. So, well, thanks, John. I appreciate you bringing all these pens. This Anytime. Is, uh, super cool. Anytime. Yeah. So that's all we have for today. Thanks so much. Sorry we can't give you any of these pens that we showed you, but I thought it would at least be nice to see them. Get to share John's face again. Thanks, everybody, and right on. Thanks.